Hello again, everyone. Back at it, working on the flaperons here. This is actually from uh, quite a few weeks ago, probably a little uh, over a month ago, uh, trying to get one of the flaperons uh, wrapped up. And uh, as you might recall from my last video, I butchered up her skin, uh, which only allowed me to fully complete one f uh, flaperon until uh, we get the new skin in. Uh, which has been on order and in the delivery process for about three weeks now uh, due to all of the weather uh, the weather situation here in uh, north texas it's been uh, slow just getting anything in so uh, it's supposed to be delivered you know either today or tomorrow uh, but we'll see and then we can get it wrapped up but on another note did uh, did move these upstairs once they get wrapped up and start working on uh, one of the wings getting all the ribs put on which you'll see here in a bit so yeah it's been it's been going good um been cold out uh here in north texas where i'm at we got about uh on two different occasions about six inches of snow on each event uh, so a little bit uh, somewhere around 12 you know a foot of snow overall with uh, record low temps, so uh, I think the lowest we got was negative two, and uh, you know had was really worried about freezing pipes and things like that. We only had one pipe freeze up here, uh, which actually didn't bust. So uh, I spent uh, quite a few hours in the attic with a heat gun, just trying to uh, clear the blockage out. But so wanted to get this out a little bit earlier, but uh, due to connectivity issues with the internet, uh, hasn't been able to happen. So yeah, that's kind of what's been going on uh, from a weather standpoint. Everything's starting to thaw out now. Today is, um, well, as I'm recording the audio on this, it's uh, Friday. Um, so it's been, you know, just starting, just first day above freezing, really, starting to get everything thawed out. Here we are working on uh, the hinge assemblies, uh, getting those match drilled to the ribs for both of the wings. Um, pretty simple process here again it's just making sure you have all the right parts lining them up getting them uh, attached to the right ribs and getting everything match drilled and then final drilled of course and then once you do all that you have to deburr everything take everything apart deburr it and you're not actually supposed to reassemble it here but I just went ahead and put everything back together um, because as you see when we move into the wings it's, uh, you know, it, you can't have the hinge assembly attached to the ribs when you attach the ribs to the wings. So, but I just put it back together so I know which, which ribs I drilled, which ones to, and I didn't uh, mark it all up as appropriate. So I'll be able to identify what goes where when we do get, uh, do have to reassemble these back uh, later on in the plans. I'll tell you one, uh, the wing skins are huge. Uh, I, I, um, been having to devinyl the wing skins I, I had to get a long pvc pipe and create sort of a lever to to pull the uh the vinyl off of the wing skins as you'll see that in a later video i have some video of that uh, one item i note is i did lose quite a bit of video i'm not sure what happened either with the phone or um uh the file I, I'm, something happened and i lost uh, pretty much all the video of me putting in the electrical and running uh, the grommets through the uh, the wing ribs and um, so yeah the angle of attack uh, the lighting well, light wires and and all that uh, lost all the video of that so here we are attaching the rear main ribs to the left uh, wing spar uh, as you'll see, I'll, I'll move the right wing spar off of the, the benches, the, uh, the sawhorses here, and I'll only be assembling the left wing until the, the until the wing is complete in its entirety, and then move over to the right just due to space. Uh, I did spend actually a couple of days after I shot this video, I went and pulled everything out of the garage and uh, completely did a mass clean out and reorganize of the garage just to make space and i tell you with that i have one wing just about the left wing just about finished at this point and uh as i'm recording this and uh it takes up nearly half of my garage uh so 
definitely needed to do that. I had to move the tail cone over to the other side of the garage and uh, make sure I had, you know, at least one half of the garage clear to, to do this work. So, because you have to walk around these wings a lot. There's space you need to, again, pull the vinyl off of all of your wing skins. Not that it can't be done in another location, but, uh, and here we are, uh, or here I am, just, uh, as you can see, I moved the tail cone. The tail cone's no longer next to the water heaters back there. It's been moved over to the other side, and we have everything kind of cleaned out on this side. And now we're putting on the front ribs, uh, the leading edge ribs. So I think that's as far as I get in this video. Uh, in the next video, you'll see uh, putting on the wing skins. And uh, of course, I, I don't have the video from all the wiring and whatnot, which which is a very simple process. It was it didn't take very long to do. Uh, the biggest thing was I was waiting on some uh, some compound that you need some Dow Corning compound uh, it took a couple of weeks to get that in and uh, a couple other things I can't remember what it was but there was something I was missing that I needed to to do to to, to progress further on the wing uh, which is why it's been a little while since I've had a video uh, it's been slow slow rolling so to speak so but yeah that's about it. So here you can see some of the pictures. Of, I just took some pictures since I didn't have video of the electrical run through and uh, the connection here. And with that, um, you know, any questions, shoot me, but we'll see y'all soon.